Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. It's Whip Wednesday and today I wanted to hop on here, say hi to everybody. How are you doing? I want to actually share another stitch video. I've been sharing these um, stitch videos on uh, every so often um, just to refresh your memory if you're a seasoned crocheter and if you're a beginner crocheter, it's just a great way to, to learn a new crochet stitch. Today's video is uh, episode six of our stitch gallery and glossary. If you haven't seen my stitch gallery, gallery and glossary yet, uh, check out, I'll put a, the link in the description of this video so you can see all the stitch videos that I have available. I am going to be teaching you the primrose stitch today, so I hope you enjoy that. And yeah, you can just refresh your memory if you uh, know this stitch already, but it's a great day to learn something new today, so why not do a little swatch and see how it goes for you. If you're working on a project right now, please let me know what you're working on. I currently have a bag, uh, a market bag on my hook right now. I don't want to show you yet because it's a really cool design and I can't wait and I'm going to build up the anticipation. <laughs> and also um, I made another bookmark that I want to um, finish and I'll share a tutorial on that very soon. So I have a few projects on my hook so let me know what's on your hook today and I hope you have a great Whip Wednesday and I hope you enjoy this mini video tutorial on the Primrose Stitch. Happy hooking! Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. This is episode six of our Stitch Gallery and Glossary. Today we are learning the Primrose Stitch. It's one of my favorites. I did it in the um, the cape I did for Halloween for Belle's uh, costume. Anyway, uh, you'll need just some simple supplies. I have a crochet hook here. I'm using an F hook in this tutorial, but you can use any size hook for this project. And this hook I got at the Etsy shop would be fancy. I will put a link in the description of this video where you can get yours because this is one of the best hooks I have ever worked with uh, in crochet and I absolutely love it. So you will love it too. It's really nice and ergonomic and hand carved. You're also going to need some yarn. I have just this um, Red Heart yarns here. This is creme de la creme, 100% cotton yarn. You can use any type of yarn. This is just a little swatch. I'm going to show you how to uh, crochet, but you can use any type of yarn, any type of hook for this project. So for the primrose stitch, let's get right into it. You are going to need to chain a multiple of Let's see here, a multiple of three plus two chains at the end, two chains. So what we're going to do, I have already chained here. If you need to know, um, you know, how to do a slip knot and chain, you can watch episodes one through five of our series, but um, I'm not going to show that to you any longer through the rest of these um, projects. So I did a multiple of three plus two, which came up to 20, because 18 chains is a multiple of three and then two extra chains at the end there, okay? So for row one, we're gonna work in the third chain from the hook. The loop on the hook does not count as anything, so count one, two, and three. And just like in my other episodes I showed you, I turn my chain toward me, and I'll do that for the rest of these as well. I like to work in the back ridges of my chain here for our foundation chain. So for row one, in this third chain from the hook, we're going to go into there with a single crochet. So go in, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, there is a single crochet. Then we're going to chain two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And we're going to put another single crochet back into that same chain. So go back down into that same chain right there, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So in that third chain from the hook, we did a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in there. Now we're going to skip two chains, one and two, and we're going to repeat that sequence in this next chain here. So skip two chains, go into this next one, then yarn over and pull through. We're making a single crochet, so yarn over and pull through two loops. Then chain two, one and two, and then single crochet back into that same chain. So go back down into there, 
yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, there it is. Awesome. Then we are going to repeat that all the way across our chain. So skip two chains, one and two, and go into this next chain right here for a single crochet, then a chain two, one and two, and then another single crochet. Okay, just like that. So again, skip two chains, go into the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, chain two, one and two, and then go back in for another single crochet. Okay, just like that. So I'm just gonna finish this row here, skip two chains, go into the next, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet back into that same chain. And the first row is always the more difficult, slower, I go slower more on my first row. So here we go, then skip two chains, go into the next, and make your single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Now at the end of your row, if you have two chains left or three, you might have two or three at the end of your row, we are going to single crochet, or I'm sorry, half double crochet in the last chain. So regardless if you have one or two chains or three chains at the end here, we are going to yarn over with our hook here, then go back, go into the very last chain of this row right here. If it's difficult, oopsie. There you go. Then yarn over and pull through. And now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That's a half double crochet. Okay, that was what we learned in episode two. Now, going on to our second row, here's where our um, rows one and, or I'm sorry, rows two and three are our repeat rows. So let's go into row two here. We're gonna chain up three. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, and three. And then turn your work around like so. And that chain up three is going to count as a stitch. It's going to count as a double crochet. Now remember in episode three, I showed you that beginning of a row, if you chain up three, that counts as a double crochet. Then go into this chain two space of this single crochet, chain two, single crochet right here. And we're going to make um, some stitches in there. We're going to do three double crochets into this chain two space. So yarn over go into that chain two space right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two more loops. Okay, again, yarn over, go into that chain two space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, that is our second double crochet in there. We have to do one more. Yarn over, go into the same chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, and there is three double crochets. In a primrose stitch it is called a shell, it's like a mini shell. Usually shell stitches are five double crochets, which I will show you in a later episode of this stitch gallery and glossary. Next we have to repeat that all the way across. So hop over to the next chain two space right here and put three double crochets in there. So yarn over, go into this chain two space here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, another double crochet in there. 
just like that. So it's very similar to a granny stitch too. Three double crochets in there. Hop to the next chain two space and repeat. So just do that all the way across this row and then I will show you how to go on to row four. All right, I just put my last three double crochets into this last chain two space on my row. And I know I said row four and we are actually going on to row three. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you wanted to count your foundation chain as a row, you would go on to row four, but this is rows one, two, and we'll go on to row three next. So this is what it should look like here. But you see this stitch right in the beginning, beginning of this row here, I said that counts as a double crochet. We are going to make a double crochet at the end of this row over here <clears throat> we are going to double crochet in our turning chain which is right down here so if you see right here is our single crochet stitch okay so right below that on here is our turning chain right here so we're gonna double crochet into there so what we have to do is yarn over first and then go into that turning chain way down here and it looks like it's on our foundation row actually and then we're going to yarn over and pull through then yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two and that finishes off row two so there we have are, that's going to be considered a repeat row and I'll show you after we finish row three here let's chain up two one and two and that's going to count as a half double crochet in the next row now let's turn our work around and we are going to go into the second stitch of our shell our mini shell here this is considered a mini shell three double crochets so we're going to skip this double crochet stitch and we're going to go into the middle double crochet stitch right here okay and we're going to put a single crochet so hop over into it go in there yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through both of the loops on your hook and then we're going to chain two one and two and single crochet back into that same stitch so go back in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two okay then we are going to repeat that all the way across so skip these two stitches here one and two and go into this next middle if you separate your stitches you can see that there's a stitch here a stitch here and a stitch here we are going to go into the middle stitch right here for a single crochet chain two and a single crochet just like that and then hop to the middle double crochet of our next mini shell right here and put a single crochet and then chain two and another single crochet in there and we're doing that all the way across for row three so single crochet chain two and another single crochet in the middle stitches of our three double crochet groupings so hop to the next middle double crochet of our next grouping here, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet back into that same stitch. Okay, I just have one repeat left. Oops, let me grab some more yarn. There we go. Hop to the middle. You could just, or you could just, you know, skip two stitches and just go into the next there. Okay, oopsie. There we go, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, chain two, one and two, and single crochet. Now at the end here, remember I said this chain of three stitch counts as a stitch, one, two, three. We are going to half double crochet in that stitch. So yarn over, one, two, three, right into this front loop and back loop. Okay, there should be two loops on top one loop underneath and we are going to yarn over and pull that through should have three loops on the hook half double crochet is yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on your hook there you go that's row three 
So that's the primrose stitch. So now we just have to repeat rows two and three. So if you need to rewind this and see how I did rows two and three and just repeat that, turn your work, chain up three, turn your work and just put the three double crochets in the chain two spaces, then double crochet in the very, very last stitch. And if you can see it on here, it's actually our turning chain on the end of this row here, it's our turning, it's this chain up two here. Okay, that's considered our half double crochet, so don't forget to double crochet in there at the end of this row. I will show you that. So we'll just put three double crochets into each of these chain two spaces, and when I get to the end of this row, we'll go on to, this is row one, two, three, we're on row four now and that's a repeat of row two and then I'll meet you up we'll go on to row five which is a repeat of row three all right so I just put my three double crochets in the last chain two space so that was our row there one two three four fourth row we're going to double crochet into this chain up two here one two yarn over go into that chain up two, so into that front loop and then that back loop, there we go, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two, okay, and that was row four. So now row five is a repeat of row three, so let's chain up two, one and two, turn the work, go into the middle double crochet of our grouping here, and put a single crochet, then chain two, and then a single crochet, okay? And then just repeat that all the way across. And if you need to, re rewind this to see rows two and three, and just repeat that for how long you want to make your piece. If you want to make a scarf, if you want to make, um, I don't know, um, I have a cape, the uh, enchanted rose cape on my website yarnutopia.com you'll see that I use the primrose stitch in a beautiful cape that's hooded it's really really pretty like a poncho style cape it's really pretty so check that out um, and that's basically it that's that's how you primrose stitch so good luck on whatever project you are making it's so much fun and thanks so much for watching and you know what check out yarnutopia.com for more free video guides on uh, easy to complex stitches while you're at yarnutopia.com make sure to check out my other patterns there's free written patterns and video tutorials and while you're there you can always support yarnutopia so we can keep bringing you these clear quality crochet tutorials a big thank you to my dad what as much for taking the time to make this video with us big thank you to red heart yarns for providing the yarn for this tutorial today and big thank you to you for always watching there it is how lovely have a good day everyone happy hooking